Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we are going to discuss about few more medical terminology related prefixes that denote the information related to body part. Okay, so whenever you want to uh, study about the medical terminology, then you should uh, know about these prefixes because these prefixes are very helpful for us to identify the actual meaning of medical terminology. Okay, so so far like we, ha we have covered 19 session uh, 19 part for these prefixes so this is uh, this session is in the continuation of the same where we are going to discuss about few more uh, prefixes that is used in order to denote the information related to body part okay so like uh, we will start the session but before that let me quickly tell you about the actual definition of prefix so prefix is something that attaches with the at the beginning of any medical terminology and from there it produces some meaning it it might it can it could denote uh, the body part it could denote anything any like uh, color or any shape or size okay so this type of word is known as medical in medical science this type of word we will use as medical terminology prefix okay so let's start with the first prefix so how we are going to proceed with this session first of all i'll tell you about the prefix with their actual meaning and once we are uh, comfortable with the prefix meaning then we will move to the examples because examples are very important in order to make a proper practice so that whenever you are working for a uh, maybe in the medical coding line or any other uh, medical related field then uh, these prefixes or these examples will, will help you to identify the meaning actual meaning okay so let's focus on the first prefix which is adren or adreno adren or adreno prefix is mainly used in order to denote gland whenever we are talking about something related to gland then we will use the term adren or adrenum now for those who are referring this session uh, in a proper sequence there might be one question for uh, to them like why we are using adreno to represent gland when we have already discussed about the adeno or adeno in our last session right so as i told you previously also that yes there are various example or alternative name available or alternative prefixes are available for various things like for gland you can either use adden or adeno similarly you can use adren or adreno okay the, so this is just a uh, alternative name okay but we should know about all the uh, alternative name as well because in exam or interview there might be anything right there could be anything so we should know about these things all right so let's focus on the first thing first example which is adrenal gland now adrenal gland means a pair of endocrine gland located on the top of each kidney consisting of adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla so this type of thing we will denote with the help of adrenal gland which is composed with the prefix adren and it is denoting something related to gland then in next example we have adrenal ectomy adrenal ectomy now what is adrenal ectomy it is a surgical removal of one or both adrenal gland so whenever we are uh, surgically removing all uh, uh, surgically removing the glands from the body then this process we will denote with the help of terminology adrenal adrenal ectomy okay so uh, if you have uh, like you, if you are referring the pro complete series then you should know like uh, yes whenever we are talking about the ectomy something is re uh, we are removing right surgical process although ectomy is not a prefix part it is a different thing but somewhere we have idea that right uh, that it is related to surgical removal of something okay so whenever we are removing surgically the glands from the body then in that case we will uh, denote this thing with adrenal ectomy which is started with the prefix adrenal then we have adrenal line now what is adrenal line also known as epinephrine okay a hormone or and neurotransmitter produced by the adrenal gland involved in fight or flight response 
okay so this type this type of thing we will denote with the terminology adrenal line which is started with a prefix adren likewise if you look at the la fourth example which is adrenarche adrenarche means the maturation of adrenal gland usually occurring during adolescence okay so now if you look at all the examples again you will find one common thing in between them which is gland because in every example we are talking about gland and that's the reason we are using the prefix either adren or adreno okay so this is how we decide all these things fine so once you are comfortable with identifying the actual meaning of prefix then like most of the information would be clear to you like if you if you know that adrenal is something related to uh, gland then after reading the terminology adrenalectomy it is clear to you that yes something is removal and that is gland gland is removal with some surgical process so this is how we will identify the terminology then for the next prefix uh, we have ng or ngo ng or ngo prefix is mainly used in order to denote something as blood vessel so whenever you want to denote something as blood vessel then we will use the terminology uh, the, the prefix ng or ngo for example first example is angiogram now one more thing i want to tell you whenever we are talking about gram okay you can say suffix then in that case it is related to imaging process just read the definition a diagnostic test that uses x-rays to take pictures of blood vessel so this thing we will denote with the terminology angiogram which is started with angio and it is denoting blood vessel then in next example we are talking about angiography now what is angiography angiography is the process of capturing images of blood vessel using contrast material okay so whenever we uh, we are using uh, uh, the like we, whenever we are capturing the blood vessel using contrast material then this thing we will denote with the help of prefix uh, ngo and the terminology angiography okay likewise if you look at the third example which is angiogenesis now what is angiogenesis the formation and development of new blood vessel so whenever a new blood uh, vessel started formating in the body or the development is started then this starting process or this formation process is known as angiogenesis which is started the with the prefix angio likewise if you look at the fourth example which is angioplasty now what is angioplasty a medical procedure to widen narrowed or obstructed blood vessel okay so when uh, just resume a scenario where th there is a blockage in the blood vessel then in that case this process is uh, initiated which is angioplasty where the widen of narrowed is performed the pr procedure is performed to widen the narrowed or obstructed blood vessels in order to remove the blockage often using a balloon catheter okay so yeah if you look at all these example one thing you will find common which is something related to blood vessel we are talking about somewhere we are talking about the blood vessel picture somewhere we are talking about the con uh, imaging process uh, of blood vessel development or formation of blood vessel as well as the widen process of the blood vessel so these all things are denoted with the prefix ng or ngo okay fine now look at the third example which is artery or arterio which is used to denote arterio artery okay for example arteriogram a diagnostic image of an artery or arteries produced by arteriography likewise if you look at the second example arteriography it's, it's a radiographic imaging of arteries after the in, after the injection of contrast medium then we have arteriomalacia malacia which means the softening of the walls of an artery softening of the walls of the artery later on we have another example which is arterio necrosis necrosis okay which means uh, necrosis or death of tissue in the artery so whenever uh, the tissue is started uh, uh, tissue is death there is a death of tissue in the artery then in that case we will use the terminology arterio necrosis which is started with the prefix artery okay 
so yeah these are the some prefixes which i would like to share with you all in this session which is adrenaline uh, related to gland angio related to the blood vessel and artery related to the artery so that's all for today and for today we have one question what information is provided by the prefix adip or adipo or adn or adeno you can uh, share your knowledge in the comment section if you know the answer otherwise you can refer the previous session uh, to understand it properly because there uh, we have already discussed this these topics in detail so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sherman